Hey there, Mike Walker here from MikeWalkersBlog.com. Have you ever wondered what elements make up a really good blog post? Well, if you've wondered that, today I'm going to actually give you some tips on how you can create the perfect blog post very simply and very easily. So stay tuned today. Okay, so let's get started and let's dive right into this thing today. So if you're wanting to generate a very good blog post, if you're wanting to create a good looking blog post, what are the steps that are necessary to do just that? Well, one of the things that I highly, highly suggest is that at the bottom of your blog post, you have a good picture of yourself and you also have a tagline, right? Now a tagline is not that totally important, right? So if you don't have a tagline, don't sweat it. You don't have to have it. The most important thing is that you get the value out, that you write the blog post and get it out. Doesn't matter what your blog looks like. If it's not finished, don't worry about it. So many people wait to release their blog until every single thing, every little nook and cranny is perfect. And a lot of times it never is and they never get started. So my number one piece of advice to you is just write the post and get the content out there because the more content you can put out in the marketplace the better off you are people aren't worried about what your blog looks like they're more interested in the content and the value that you can actually give to them but at the bottom of your blog post have a nice picture of yourself what, what that's going to do is that's going to allow your reader to see a picture of you so they can kind of connect with you visually as the person that actually wrote this post. So it's a good way to get that connection started between you and your subscriber, readers, and viewers. So the number two thing is, make sure you have a very good giveaway or a lead magnet, what I like, what I like to call it. So on the right side of my blog, if you'll notice, I actually have a Snapchat training where they can put their name and email and phone number in, and then they're gonna be given. Once they do that, I send them over to a page where they actually have access to this really cool little over an hour Snapchat training where they can learn how to generate leads and get sales using Snapchat. It's a free gift, but once again, it's value based. So this could be an ebook, could be a free training, could be a video giving them, you know, five steps to lose weight or whatever it is your niche is in. Whatever it is, give that giveaway on your right hand side and one of your sidebars. That's my number two tip. Number three is, if you have any other blog posts that you've written prior that are related to what you're doing right now, put links to those somewhere throughout your content. Because here's what you want to do. You want to keep your viewer engaged in your blog as long as you possibly can. Okay? One, it's going to help you out with your ranking of your blog because it's going to show how long viewers actually remained on your blog. But two, it's going to keep you in front of their face. So the chances of them opting into something on one of your blog posts is, is far greater than if they just read pieces of that one and get off and go somewhere else looking for content. So make sure that you have related content and links to that in, in, your, in your text somewhere along in, your, in, in the body of your blog. Um, here, uh, one of the questions that I really, really get a lot is this. You know, what, what's the best type of content and how often should I blog? And by no means am I a blog master, but I have gone through several courses. I went through Ray Higgins' 3-Minute Expert. Actually, I'm still going through that course. And what Ray teaches is the best type of content is any kind of value-based content. And that would be my answer to you, is any kind of content that's value-based and solves someone's problem. Because... Network marketers, 97% of them fail. So they're looking for something when they come to a blog. They're looking for an answer to a question. You may have the answer to that question. So any kind of value-based content is good content. How often should you put it out? Honestly, every day. Every single day, you should be releasing content. Now, if, you were, if you're in a situation to where you just don't have the time to blog every single day, do it as much and as often as you can. I know one of the leaders that, that I'm good friends with inside of a community of, of entrepreneurs that I'm, that I'm a part of, he, um, 
he actually only blogs one time a week. Am I recommending that? No, I'm not. But what I'm telling you is he writes one really good piece of content. Like he just packs it so full of value that you just can't get enough. And he packs it full of value and then what he does is he markets that one blog post all week long. So if you wanted to go that route, you could go that route as well. I prefer to give out multiple and different types of value throughout the week. But you work what's best for you. You work and do what you need to do to suit your situation because everybody's situation is different, especially if you're still working full-time job, have children, family, life, all that stuff happens. I get it. I'm right there with you. I'm a part-time marketer as well. So a lot of times, as soon as I get home, I'm having to get my work done before the crowd comes rolling in. So I get it. But do as much as you possibly can. Release as many posts as you possibly can throughout the week because the more content you can get out to the, to the public, the better off you are of getting more leads and getting more sales into your business. Because let's just face it, you have to pump value out every single day. So what else can you do with your blog? You can sell coaching. You can set up a page with um, basically inside of your blog to where you can actually sell coaching to people. Put a price tag on it. Make sure you put it on there, you know, how long the coaching is for, whether it's a 15-minute call or a 30-minute call, whatever the case may be. But you can actually literally sell coaching straight from your blog. That's why I've heard it said that if you don't have a blog, it, it, nowadays marketing, nowadays, you know, building a business online, if you don't have a blog, then basically you're homeless. Because your blog is your home. You can do everything from your blog, right? You can give value. You can sell coaching. You can give resources and tools. You can give people an explanation of who you are. Give them your story on your about page. So much you can do inside of a blog. So if you don't have one, I honestly believe that, that you just are homeless. So my home, is my, my home base is my blog. Everything I do goes back to my blog. So... The thing about it is, is your blog is set up to generate leads. So what you want to do is you want to generate the lead. And then once you generate the lead, you want to connect with your lead. And then you want to determine what the need is. Okay. Because they came to your blog for a reason. Now, you, now it's your job once you generate that lead to connect with them and figure out what it is that they need and whether or not you have a solution. So those are just a few tips on how you can create a very good blog post. So. Here's the thing, if you got some value, please like it, comment, share it with a teammate, tag a teammate, let them know about the, the tips that I gave today if you think this would be beneficial to them. Now, if you want to learn more about blogging and learn from a blogging beast, a blogging machine like Ray Higdon, then what you can do is click the link down here below. You click that link, you're gonna be directed to his training where you can actually get the course Three Minute Expert. Now inside this course, Ray takes you from the start to finish on how you can build a blog the same way he did to where he generates millions of dollars every year simply by blogging. You're going to get all the secrets and tips and tricks inside of this course. So click the link below, go ahead and get access to that training so that you can be a, the next blogging machine. So guys, until the next video, take care, be blessed, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye for now.